everyone. Uh, just give me two minutes while I get myself sorted. Just gonna turn off my phone. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, I'm Gemma. I'm one of the online nappy advisors, and I'm here today to talk about newborn nappies. So the first one, can you see my little uh, selection here to go through? I'm going to talk about muslins. Okay, so muslins. We've covered lots already about mislins, um, how to fold them. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the Joe fold. But if you'd like a thorough, more in detail um, demo, then please have a look on our website and you'll find the Joe fold demonstrated much better by Wendy Richards herself. OK, so Joe fold. It's going to take the corners, fold them into the centre. So you form a square Then I'm going to take the sides, fold them into a pad, open one end, get my stay dried liner and put it on the baby. Muslins are absolutely fantastic for newborn babies. They're a lovely trim, neat, slim nappy and also they're really good at knowing how much baby has actually weed. In the early days, I remember my midwife saying to me, has your baby done a wee? How much wee? How often are they weeing? And sometimes it was really hard to know, especially if you're using a disposable nappy. Whereas a cloth nappy, such as a muslin, will really give you a good idea of how much your baby is weeing. So I've put the uh, muslin onto the baby in the Joe fold. Then I'm going to get a nappy nipper. Nappy nippers replaced the old fashioned pins a long time ago and they're much safer for baby. With the nappy nipper, they've got like little teeth. Can you see that? And basically those teeth clip onto muslin. Then you pull across with the loop. And then you pull the bottom one. There you go. That's lovely and attached. Now, then, you need a wrap to go with the uh, muslins because this on its own, it isn't going to be waterproof. Okay, I've got a blueberry uh, newborn capri nappy here, uh, nappy wrap here. Uh, you can use a Mothery's uh, Ricky, Mothery's Airflow and an extra small or even a Festies extra small will work just as well. So what you need to do when you're putting the wrap on your baby, you need to ensure that the wrap actually covers the whole of the nappy, so the whole of the muslin. Now these wraps have adjustable lengths on them, which I'll show you in a minute. Let me just put this on baby at the moment. So this popper's on. like so there we go just make sure all of the uh, nappy is tucked in oh i haven't done a very good job here uh, also it's not the easiest doing on a doll <laughs> you get the idea so there you go so you've got your waterproof wrap you've got your nappy which is the uh, muslin in this case and then you've got your stay dry uh, fleece liner as well. Muslins, they're a very cheap nappy to buy. Like I said, they're a nice trim, neat fitting nappy. Um, they're going to last you about two, two and a half hours maximum. So they haven't got the greatest absorbency, but then again, they're designed just for newborns. And with a newborn, you're looking at changing a nappy every two to two and a half hours anyway. 
Um, at night time, if you wanted that little bit of extra absorbency, if, you both, if your baby's going to sleep longer than two and a half hours, that is, then you could double up the uh, mislins, so have two, um, or you could add a booster inside. Okay, so that's mislins. Right, let's move on. Let's move on to one of my favourite, the Bam Bam. Okay, this is a newborn Bam Bam. It is so, so soft, it really is. Now the Bam Bam, this is a two part nappy as well, and it's really good absorbency. You can use this at night time. Uh, these also come in a birth to potty nappy. And again, we say that uh, with a booster inside, these are perfect for a nighttime nappy. But again, uh, daytime, you, you can use them for daytime as well. Okay, so what you have, so you have the shaped nappy here, and then you have the uh, booster that goes inside. So you may find on a very small baby, you won't actually need the booster. And the beauty of these bam bams, they're so versatile, because if you do have a really small baby, what you could do is you could fold the top over and just look how tiny that becomes. I mean, that is, that is so, so cute. <laughs> so how you put a bam bam on the baby uh let's add the booster so we fold that into a pad shape and we stick it inside the shaped nappy piece we get our stay dry liner our fleece stay dry liner then we just grab the nappy pull it up in between baby's legs reach for the sides I always feel under a lot more pressure when uh, I'm doing one of these videos putting a baby's nappy on. Never goes quite to plan. <laughs> okay, and then we grab our nappy nipper just like we did with the uh, muslin. Like so. There we go. And again, the Bam Bam, because it's a two part nappy, it will need a wrap. Uh, I'm going to use a Mothery's Airflow wrap for this one. Now, this is a small. Uh, you can get the Airflow Mothery's and the Ricky uh, Mothery's wraps in an extra small and a small. Now, a lot of people say to us, well, what's the difference between the extra small and the small? Because they are actually the same sizes. They come from, I think... It's six to 12 pound. Please, anyone, nappy lady people who are also watching this, if I'm wrong, please correct me. But I think they're six to 12 pound. Um, but the difference is that the extra small is a lot trimmer in between the leg and up the side. So if you're using muslin, then the extra small may be better if you're um, if you and your husband are quite petite and you think your baby's going to be quite small. Okay, so. This is the small, like I said, and I'm going to stick it over the uh, Bam Bam nappy. The beauty of the Mothery's is that they pop up at the side rather than on the tummy. Now then, these Mothery's wraps, they may look quite big, OK? And they do create kind of, some people describe them as a puffy look. It is supposed to do that, OK? They are very, very cleverly designed, and a Mothery's wrap will stop any wicking. Uh, wicking. Um, they're lovely and breathable, probably one of the best breathable wraps you can buy. Right, now then, as you can see on baby, round the leg, can you see that? That is quite gapy. Now, with a Mothery's wrap, that is what you want. You don't want it any tighter. You don't need it in the Nikolai. If you do, you're going to start getting problems. How it works, I'm not entirely sure. It just does. OK, so this is the look you want. You want this nice puffy look with the gap in the leg. OK, there we go. All right, um, another two part system. Let's have a look at the Sandy's nappies. All right. So <coughs> the Sandy's nappy, it's a nice lusticated nappy. 
And like the motherese wraps, it poppers down the side as well. So you could actually, if you wanted to, put them on baby like a pull-up pant. You don't have to all the time undo the poppers and put it on. Because we're dealing with newborn here, it is probably better if you do undo the poppers and put it on like a uh, buff nappy. Okay, if you need a booster inside, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to get told off for saying that. You need a stay dry liner inside. Okay, please do not confuse the boosters with stay dry liners. They are totally, totally different. Right, so we put our stay dry liner inside. Hello. You could actually put a booster inside if you need it, but that's a different conversation. Okay, so we're not going to go there. <laughs> right, so stay dry liner inside. Your um, these uh, sandy nappies, they come in bamboo or they come in cotton. Brilliantly absorbent. So again, you can use them uh, daytime or nighttime. And then you just pop her at the sides like I did with the airflow wrap. They've got adjustable uh, poppers around the leg. So they're, they're pretty good actually, if you've got quite a slim baby with a chunky leg or thin legs and a chunky waist, you, you know, it's so versatile, you can adjust it however you want it. So that's the actual nappy. And then again, you'd get your wrap and you put it over the top. Again, ensuring a nice gap around the leg with the motherese wrap. Okay. There we go. Okay. So all the nappy is covered, you've got a nice gap in the leg, not too big, but enough so it's not um, digging into baby skin. I can put two fingers around the waist, around the back, job done. Uh, last two part newborn nappy system. Now we're going to talk um, about bamboozle, bamboozle stretch size one. These are slightly bigger than a standard newborn nappy, but they're quite clever. When you put them on, they seem to just tend to bunch it up upon itself, and it really does fit a newborn quite nicely. These are from six pound, and with these you've got velcro around the waistband so with a newborn baby sometimes that's quite good because you can really get a lovely fit whereas sometimes with poppers that's not such an easy thing to do um so this is uh bamboo so you can use this during the day and the night time for a very small baby um you may want to take out the booster or if you find your baby is wetting quite a lot, then start with the booster. It's it's fine, it doesn't matter, booster in, booster not. Um, as baby gets bigger though, uh, this booster is for daytime. Okay, if you're gonna use it at nighttime, you're gonna need to um, add additional boosters. So you'd put your stage dry liner in again, and then literally, really easy to put on, to pull up in between the legs, the velcro tabs up as you can see that's pulled like i was saying that's pulled itself together around the bottom and that is really quite a nice neat nappy okay, get your wrap put it over the top right let's move on to an all-in-one so two parts is great for absorbency great for containment because you've got the double gussets going on um but you want something a little bit easier. Uh, you've just, it's your first baby, you've never used cloth before, you're finding it a little bit overwhelming, not sure you can cope just yet with a two-parter system. Let's go for a one-part system. This is just as easy as putting on a disposable nappy. It really is. Okay, you've got no uh, poppers to adjust the height, you've got Velcro around the waist. 
like I said, it's an all-in-one. Everything is built in for this nappy, okay? So it's just like a disposable. Um, only thing you do have to remember, though, is your stay dry liner, okay? This is made from bamboo. So again, it's quite absorbent, not as absorbent as the two-parter, though. So all you have to remember is your liner. And it goes on just like a disposable. It is that easy. Okay, so in between the legs, pull the Velcro tabs around, and there you have it. Easy as that. Okay. Right, another all-in-one. Uh, actually, no. Let's let's talk about a two-in-one. Okay, so this is very similar. I, oh, I don't even know if I um, said what this was called. I said it was an all-in-one, but I didn't actually give the uh, name of the nappy. This is a teeny fit by Totspot. Okay, so let's have a look at a two-in-one, uh, all-in-two, which is a popping nappy. So very similar to the tiny fit one, but the difference is when you open it up, the actual nappy piece, so the insert, is um, poppered in. You can remove it. Oh, if I can undo the popper. There we go. So the beauty of a two-in-one is that if baby who's just done a wee and the uh, cover is uh, free from any um, solids, you can just change the insert. OK, you can use your wrap up to five times or 12 hours, whatever comes first. So it's a bit of a more economical system to use. These inserts are made from bamboo and you don't have to worry about say dry liner because it has one built in. The older version, um, I think, were made from microfiber. So if you are buying pre-loved, just um, check to see what the uh, insert is is first we sell these in uh, newborn kits um i th i think it's six inserts to four wraps or that could be wrong um if someone could clarify that for me that would be great um and the kits the, the kits they're uh, plain colored as well so again this one's really easy to put on just like a disposable oh um, with regards to absorbency, I wouldn't say it was as good as the uh, this one, the Top Spots Teeny Fit. But you do have a very easy and quite an economical nappy system going on there. Okay. Right, next one. <laughs> okay, so all in one firsties. Oh, excuse me, I just need a drink, excuse me. <laughs> oh. And all in one newborn first is. <coughs> now then, this one is made from microfiber. So it's quite fast drying. And the beauty, even though we call it an all in one, this bit here is the tongue. This is still the nappy, it's still the insert, but it hangs loosely from the nappy wrap, which speeds up drying time even more. Now, the first is newborn. It has, people worry about baby's um, umbilical cord uh, being covered up by the nappy. Well, this one has a popper that you can pop down to ensure that it's not touching the umbilical cord. It also has an adjustable rise. So this is on the largest setting. But if you have quite a short baby, or a very young baby who's uh, only, I don't know, maybe six pound at the most, you can um, pop these up and make it smaller. Okay. So the difference with this one in comparison to the pop in and the teeny fit. Firstly, it's uh, microfiber, like I just said, and also it's poppered. Um, around the waist rather than Velcro. So again, in between baby's legs, grab your wings, 
and you pop a to do up. Okay, so it's still easy to do. There we go. Okay. Um, right then, let's move on to another all in one. Smart bottoms. Smart bottoms, different material again. Smart bottoms is made from organic uh, hemp and cotton. Okay, so this is really absorbent. Uh, differences with materials, microfiber, it's the quickest drying, but probably the least absorbent. Okay, then you have bamboo, and then uh, you move on to the, the hemp. Okay, so hemp will be the slowest drying, but it's going to be more absorbent than the microfiber and the bamboo. So this one is like the first season all in one. You have the tongue, um, which speeds up drying slightly. Like I said, it is quite a slow drying nappy. Now then, with this one, instead of having the uh, popper to um, pop down to protect the umbilical cord, you actually have a cutaway on the nappy. It's not necessary barely needed um, but it's a it's nice design if you are worried about infection or anything also this one you can adjust it for different lengths so it really does become quite small by adjusting just get your whatever um, vertical popper you need so your female one and popper it to your male popper okay you need your stay dry liner inside. And again, nice and easy to put on. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we are. Um, another one. Simplex. Newborn Simplex all in one. Okay, so this is made from organic cotton. So again, another more expensive nappy and a slower drying nappy, but amazing absorbency. Now, this varies slightly to the uh, smart bottoms in the fact the, the uh, simplex has a pocket which is open both ends of the nappy and that really does speed up drying time because then you've got nothing in between the wrap and the uh, the fabric layer you know it's not sewn together so you can get a good old breeze going through there to dry up the uh, drying time so and also actually the beauty of this because it has got the pocket if needed, um, if you need a, a bit more absorbency, you can actually put a booster inside. I wouldn't add more than one booster, otherwise you're gonna start making it too bulky and you're gonna affect the, um, the, the width around the leg, which may cause uh, leaks. But one, one booster inside would be absolutely fine. Now with the uh, Simplex Organic, all-in-one nappies. Um, if you're familiar with these, the birth to potty actually come with a fleece stay dry liner attached to them, whereas the newborn don't. Okay, so if you do want to add, so if you do want the uh, stay dry liner, you will need to add your own one to that. So this tongue bit here, I'm just going to put inside the uh, pocket, like so. Okay, you have. Oh, you have the um, umbilical cord pop down function, and you also oh no, you can't adjust the uh, length rise of this one. You just have the uh, umbilical cord pop down. Okay, so we've got our stay dry liner inside, and um, again, nice and easy to do. Just pull the sides. And pop her up. 
Okay. Like so. There we are. Okay. So let's sit here. Let's undo that bit as well. Makes it look a bit prettier. Okay. Um, I think that is everything. Um, if anyone wants to ask any questions now, please ask me. Although I'm sure the uh, nappy lady team have been doing a fantastic job at answering all questions. Uh, let's have a quick scroll down. Well, there's been quite a lot of chat going on, hasn't there? <laughs> Hopefully that's not because I'm confusing everyone. Um, let's have a look. Okay. So, yeah, the Simplex being uh, very popular, which is very understandable because they are a fantastic nappy. Um, okay. I think the nappy lady team have got this under control with answering questions. I don't think think there's anything else I need to cover. So thank you for watching um, and good luck on your nappy journey. Bye bye.